Hello everyone and welcome to the PL711 live stream. My name is Niklas uh, and I joined the company approximately one year ago as the new CMO of the company. And today I will give you a brief introduction about um, the PL711. First, we will start with a PowerPoint presentation, giving you an idea about the company for those who don't know Platit uh, for too long or too good. And afterwards, we will talk about the features and benefits of the PL711 coding system uh, before we move into the uh, production facility of one of our customers and um, have the opportunity to uh, listen to Sebastian, who will show you the ins and outs of the coding system. For us, it's very, uh, very important um, that you can share your feedback and ask your questions, obviously. So um, please use our website, platit.com, or please use the YouTube chat function uh, to ask your questions so we can uh, reply to these at the end of the live stream. So as I said, we will start with the PowerPoint presentation. First, I will give you a, an introduction about um, the Platit company. Uh, then we will talk about the product portfolio uh, with a focus on the PL711 but we will also give you an overview about our turnkey solutions. Um, then we will talk about our new TAC coding. This is something we are, we are very proud of. Um, and in the end of the presentation, after we move to uh, Sebastian, uh, we will have the live Q&A where you can ask your questions and um, we will try to answer them. Talking about the company Platit, um, it was founded uh, almost 30 years ago. Um, and during that time until today, we installed more than 550 coding systems and we can proudly call ourselves a technology leader, an independent technology leader, and that's quite important for us in the PVD coding industry. And uh, furthermore, um, we can not only um, provide coding solutions for tools, but also for the component industry, which is, which is quite interesting for us uh, these days. Um, our selling proposition and mainly your benefits are four different points. Uh, I would like to skip the first point um, with the turnkey solution and come back to that later uh, on another slide. And I would like to start with the topic of long-term customer relationships because our goal is not only to sell a coding system. Um, that's pretty much the basis of our business model. But the goal is to have long-term relationship uh, with our customers because it's not only us sharing information, um, it's also us receiving information and receiving your feedback and consti constantly getting um, better in our performance um, in dealing with you with a very open source um, policy. And this is not only done in meetings, but also with every coding system you um, get delivered from us. Um, there's another topic um, that I would like to address at this point, and this is flexible machine concepts. As you know, um, we have or we provide one of the most flexible coding systems to the market with the Pi 411 uh, coding system. Um, but beside the standard coding units that we provide, we are also working on um, prototype coding units. So we are sitting together, designing everything from software to hardware, um, trying to figure out what the right hardware might be uh, for your application. And we are putting that into a package uh, that you are so-called ready to code with your product. Talking about our product portfolio, um, for sure the most common coding system from Platit is the Pi 411. And as you can see, for, for all coding systems, we have the same design language. Um, and by that, we are showing you already from far, far away on every exhibition when you see the system that this coding system belongs to the company of Platit. Um, another version, a smaller version of the 411 is the triple one uh, with two cathodes in the door instead of three. And um, those two systems belong to the Pi series that we offer uh, to our customers. Another series is the PL series and um, one arc system in that series is the PL1011 coding system using planar target technology, but arc processes. And uh, today we will talk about another system in the PL family, which is the PL711. But we will talk about the details um, on the next two slides. Then there's another coding system, which is the Pi1511, which is a quite interesting coding system, I believe, because it combines the best out of two worlds. It combines the Pi technology in the door with the planar technology out of the PL family um, in the backside of the chamber.
So talking about um, an additional part of our uh, product portfolio, which is turnkey solutions, I would like to make a step back to one of the selling propo propositions that I just uh, skipped, and this is integrated turnkey solutions. Nowadays, everyone who's selling a service or product talks about solution selling, um, but what that really means, um, especially for us, there's, there's a certain difference. So whenever you decide for a coding system, we make sure that when you buy either a cleaning line or a blasting system or even a decoding uh, system, that everything is going hand in hand. And there are two or three good examples for that that I would like to share with you. One is when we talk about blasting, we are not only uh, recommending you a certain uh, blasting system, either wet or dry blasting, but uh, our people in the uh, technology department, our PhDs and engineers, they will go through the whole process with you. They will um, share um, their experience um, in terms of what makes sense, like what angle should you use, what blasting media should you use, and what pressure should you use for pre and post treatment of your tools and components. Decoding uh, is another topic here. So uh, let's take the example of the hobbing application. Whenever you have a cemented carbide um, hob um, and you want to decode it, um, there's a high risk of cobalt leaching. And what we did with our CT20 uh, decoding system, for example, is that you only strip down the coating or decode the coating until you reach the titanium layer uh, on the very bottom of your coating. And by doing that, you can avoid um, cobalt leaching and avoid a certain damage on your tool and increase uh, the lifetime of your tool. So this is what we mean by selling integrated turnkey solutions. The PL711 coding system is equipped with two planar high pims sputtering cathodes. And with that equipment, um, this coding system can deposit titanium-based and chromium-based coatings, as well as amorphous carbon uh, coatings with uh, silicon content and also TAC coatings, which will be um, a topic later in the presentation. Um, another feature is the PA3D module, which is basically a, an improved Helmholtz system and a central anode um, inside the coating chamber. And the reason why we um, did some research on that and the reason why we further developed that was because we want to focus um, on a very dense plasma with a high ionization rate and a very high deposition rate at the same time. In addition to the cathodes, uh, we are using um, shutter systems to avoid target contamination. The machine comes with certain other features like uh, metal ion etching, plasma etching, and also the LGD process that you know from our other um, PVD coding systems at Platit. Of course, we want to give you a certain feeling about the size of the coding system. Um, due to the fact that we are using the central anode inside the coding system, uh, we have to share the information of the maximum coding volume a little bit different. So in this case, this is 4 times 225 millimeters times 800 in coating height. And to give you um, an additional idea about the size of the coding system, you could use the number of 540 pieces shank tools um, with the volume of 10 times 70, for example. Talking about TAC coatings as part of the DLC coating family, uh, you might have seen this triangle that we are showing here. And within this triangle, we are showing you the difference between our DLC1 coating, our DLC2, and our DLC3 coating, which is basically the, the TAC. Um, DLC1 is the amorphous carbon with hydrogen content. DLC2 is our amorphous carbon coating with certain silicon content, also available, in, uh, av available on this coating system. And the TAC coating is um, our newest development on that coating system with a very high SP3 um, bond fraction, which uh, results in a very high hardness, which results in a higher thermal stability and also other benefi beneficial features uh, for your certain application. In general, this coding is available on the Pi 411 and the PL711. As we are talking about the PL711 here today, um, I shared the facts and figures with you um, about that version of the coding, which is rather suitable for the component business here, as the machine is itself. 
Okay, so uh, we gave you the big picture, not only about the company, but uh, also about um, our product portfolio, the PL711 and the TAC coding, which is coming with uh, the coding system. And now it's about giving you a certain look and feel together with uh, Sebastian, who will show you the ins and outs of the coding system. Enjoy. Thank you, Niklas, and hello to everyone. My name is Sebastian, and I'm going to tell you some details about our 711 coding machine. Speaking of the footprint, the machine has a length of 3.5 meters, a height of 2.3 meters, and a width of 2.2 meters. All of the necessary medias, as power, water, and gases, are connected on top of the machine so that you have an easy access to all of the service doors around the machine. And now I will tell you some more details about our HMI. With our HMI, you can easily see the status of our machine and its components, as well as the status of our recipes. For instance, which recipe step is running right now or how many time is remaining until the process is finished. If we have a closer look at the several code moments, you can see here the heating, you can see here the pressure gouges, the chamber itself, the gases, the pumping. And if you want to have closer information, of course, we have several registers, for instance, to check the alarms or to check the recipes, load the recipes or to modify the recipes. Okay, let's now have a closer look inside of our chamber. Within our door you can see the main heating with the heater grid in front of it. Furthermore, you can see three gas showers. The one on the left and on the right are for our reactive sputtering process as chromium nitride and also used for our DLC process. The one in the middle is connected to our fast reacting mass flow controller, which is used for titanium nitride deposition. And last but not least, we have two thermocouples here on top. If you have a look inside of the chamber, you can see two sputtering cathodes, which are covered by shields right now. Let me open it. Now you can see the target surface with an already existing erosion grave. Furthermore, we have some gas showers in front of the cathodes. In the middle, you can see our anode, which is responsible for a very efficient electron attraction in order to create a high density plasma. So now we are in the final part of our live stream uh, here today. Uh, you got a quick introduction about the company, about our product portfolio, Turnkey Solutions the PS711, including a live presentation from Sebastian, who will now join us uh, here for the last session. Please, Sebastian. Thank you again for supporting us here and showing the uh, coding system to the customers. You're welcome. Good. Um, just, a, just a quick note before we, we move forward. Uh, you see Sebastian and me standing here without the facial masks. Um, just to take a note here, uh, we are both tested negative uh, for COVID-19, uh, so we are really taking care that we are sticking to, to all the regulations that we have here in, uh, in Switzerland. Um, we thought it might be interesting for you guys to have a little recap about what we presented you uh, today. And we thought we will start by giving you some answers to potential questions that you, you might have had. And the first question would be, um, Sebastian, you talked about this fast reacting mass flow controller. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the function of this? What is it for? Well, as I mentioned before, um, this MFC is used for our reactive sputtering processes, for instance, titanium nitride. Um, it controls very fast and precise the nitrogen flow in order to prevent target, po target poisoning. Okay, thank you. Um, you also um, showed uh, this uh, central anode inside the chamber. Mm -hmm. How does it work when you want to pull out the uh, carousel? Um, this carousel has a segment, so you can easily remove it. Then you have a gap and you can push in the carousel. Then once it is in, you assemble the segment back and you are ready to go. Okay, so it's basically in the same way with the third uh, in the Pi 411 or with a skill cathode even? Yeah, it works the same way as it is in our Pi machines. Okay, okay. Um, another question uh, we thought that might be interesting for you. Um, the PL711 is capable of doing standard um, metal iron etching, uh, but also argon etching. And then there's an additional process, which is the LGD. What is that about? Mm, LGD stands for lateral glow discharge. In this step, we have the active anode, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and also the burning sputtering cathode, the shields are closed. In this combination, we can achieve a very high ionization of the argon, and with this plasma, um, we have a really intense and good and homogeneous etching of the target surface, uh, substrate surface. Okay, thank you very much. So now um, it's time to move into uh, some of the questions uh, that you have. I'm just looking at our screen um, if we have some, some question here. Um, the first one is um, how does the silicon doping work in case of the silicon dope DLC coatings? Okay. Can you explain that? Yes, of course. Um, in this case, um, we have a special liquid or gas, which is the TMS. That's the common we use. This contains silicon, of course, and then we have a plasma assisted process, and that's how it works. Okay, nice. Do we have any other questions for now? We will give you some, some time. Maybe someone is typing still. If that's not the case, um, I believe we, we call it a day. Um, we hope you liked the presentation. We hoped, or we hope that you uh, are now curious about the coding system, that you learn a little bit more about the company, what we are providing also beside the coding system. And uh, we wish you a good day um, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>